What's up guys? I'm bored and it's like 3 in the morning and I bought something cool. So I'm going to show you guys what I did or what I bought and uh, yeah, it's over here. Let's go into the next room. You can probably hear it already. There's a network cable that's going through my apartment. We'll go into my studio. Hopefully this isn't too loud. The light's on already. So this is what I bought. I'm going to explain it in the other room, but I'll kind of go over it. Uh, hopefully you can hear it, or hear me actually. Um, this is a, uh, this is a dual Xeon, uh, server chassis. And I got this thing for a hundred bucks. Came with, uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Got a shitty monitor and stuff down there. I was loading the, uh, operating system and stuff on it, but it's loud as fuck. Um, and then I got, I got more RAM over here, got a pile of ECC RAM with it, but, um, I'll show you what I'm doing with it, basically, I can do here, I'm gonna pop this open, Ugh. pull that off, it's loud, refocus. So what we got here is we've got redundant fans. So if one of these fails, I can pull it out. I'm not going to do that, but these all pull out and I can swap them if I need to, if one dies. Uh, same with the hard drives on the front. I've got four 15,000 RPM uh, SAS drives in there right now. And they're in, uh, they're in RAID 5 currently. So they're redundant. Um, and then we've got back here, you can see, you've got uh, two 750 watt power supplies and they're hot swappable. So if one dies, I can pull it out, put in a new one and it's good to go. You can see the lights there are green, so they're good to go. Um, got a solid Intel uh, RAID controller in there. Uh, under here, there's the two CPUs and there's all the RAM. I only have 16 gigs in there right now. The other is sitting over there. I was just making sure it all worked. Let's put that back on there. Make sure the RAM doesn't get too hot. Um, under here we've got some uh, fiber uh, cards here for storage arrays and stuff like that. Um, what else do we got? Uh, dual gigabit NIC. Another dual gigabit NIC. Another dual gigabit NIC. I got six, uh, six, six, one gigabit uh, NIC cards in there. Um, yeah, and that's about it for the server. Let's put the, the case lid back on. It's a little quieter once I put the case top back on anyway. And then I've just got a shitty monitor there. That's gonna go. Eventually I'm gonna rack this somewhere. Uh, and then I also got, um, I got a set of, an extra set of uh, rails for it too, which is nice, and yeah, this room's a mess, but let's shut this up and turn that off. Look at the pretty lights. Close the door, and there's my network cable because I was too lazy to put it through the wall, but if we come over here and sit down on my PC, uh, we can take a look. Um, we've got PCMR Twitch stream. Go follow that. I stream on there every uh, every once in a while. Um, so basically, what I have is remote desktop. I can, you know, put it down. That's my normal desktop. All the monitors in their glory. Um, but we got a remote desktop down here, remoting into the server itself. And here we got it. Um, we can pull up the task manager. 
uh, see what we got here. It's got currently um, two Xeon X5150s. They're relatively old, but still, it's got two Xeons in it. Um, currently, only have 16 gigs of the RAM in there right now, but um, I do have 32 that will fit in it, and I have an extra 32 gig set uh, just in case, I guess. So I was just testing all of it to make sure it all worked, um, and so far so good. Uh, and then that's about it. So what what's cool about this server is that I have uh, Adobe Premiere on here now. So I can pull that up and say I wanted to say I'm. Let's minimize here for a second. Say we're on my main PC. Uh, let's open up Premiere on here. I've got, let's open this project because that's the one I was working on. Uh, we don't need to do any of that. So, here we go. I'm done editing. I finished it. Cool. Look, all my, all my video is done. I can save this. Exit. I don't want to save that now because I've already done that. And then we can open up our remote desktop. I can, because since I do have a... Okay, let's open up over here first. Oh, that's up there. Let's bring it down. Oh. So um, we have my drives here. These are all my local drives, my SSD. Um, got a 150 gig random drive. And my one terabyte. And then my, uh, my hard drive that's sitting there. And then I've got my two, or my RAID array, my two terabyte RAID array. And then that I have set up as a network drive. And then over here we've got the actual servers. I got 407 gigabytes of um, redundant uh, backup. So one drive out of the four can fail and I can just hot swap it and it's it'll rebuild itself and it's good to go. I plan on using that for um, backups of important stuff on my main PC. But right now I have it set up as a network drive. So if we go over here, and this is on Windows Server 2012 R2, is the operating system I currently have on here, and if I could refocus this. Um, here's my hard drive here, I have it network mapped or whatever, I can open up this, go into my project files. Um, it was this one, I can open that up from that hard drive, which is these hard drives in here. Uh, and then uh, I can skip all those, and I can move this out of the way because I don't have two monitors on this one. Uh, and then I can go hit export, export media, and then I can render straight from this box. And it's pretty damn quick. Like, let's do, um, I don't know, H.264. Let's do, I think this is 720p at 30 frames a second. Uh, do this, we'll do test, sure why not. Um, I don't really want to do the whole thing. Let's do like 30 seconds of it. Why not? Hit export. And I can I can close this. It's doing its thing. It honestly runs super quick once it starts going cuz it's got two CPUs in there. And I can do uh I can do all the stuff anything else I want to do like watch Twitch or play games and not have to tax the shit out of my system over here. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm using this $100 server for. And then I also, I used to do that with that PC over there, but it's kind of a metastic CPU. It's a Phenom quad core. And uh, I'm going to let my uh, my roommate use that for gaming. And um, I'm going to use this server for, here it goes, use a server for rendering stuff. And it's it's pretty damn quick for a server from 2008. So, yeah, if you found that interesting or helpful or now you want to go buy a server and stuff, uh, cool. And any thoughts and stuff like that, you know, leave me a, co or leave me a comment uh, if you have any questions about that. Look at, look at how fast that thing's going. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.